Bible prophecy is happening right now and it's amazing to see. The book of Revelation tells us that in the last days the Euphrates River will dry up and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Between dams in multiple countries, Syria, Iraq, and Turkey, as well as some of the worst droughts in years in such areas such as Iraq and it's truly amazing to see because here is the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 12 that says, Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up, so that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. This was written almost 2,000 years ago, and we're seeing this happen right now. Now, we're not seeing the full fulfillment of it yet, so people shouldn't be freaking out and worrying completely, but we're seeing the precursor as we're seeing the precursor to many different Bible prophecies coming about right now. We're in the beginning stages where God is giving people warnings who have eyes to see and ears to hear, letting them know that yes, time is short, while the mockers and scoffers say, oh no, that's happened before, it's what, oh, they, they always have something to say, but it, it can't deny the fact, this was written 2,000 years ago, the Euphrates has never dried up, we're seeing it dry up now, that verse in Revelation mentions it, as well as Revelation chapter 9, verses 13 through 15, which says, then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and the day and the month and the year were released to kill a third of mankind. So at this point in Revelation, things are really bad. I mean, this actually may even be in the wrath of God stage of Revelation to where things are just beyond the worst things that we've ever experienced on this earth. And so, like the verse just said, four angels that are trapped beneath the Euphrates River will be released and they will kill one third of mankind. And it says that they will kill them with an army of horsemen of 200 million. And I believe not too far off from this point in prophecy, we see the Battle of Armageddon in the Valley of Megiddo where there's so much blood that it goes up to a horse's bridle, up to a horse's stomach within the entire valley. So yes, this is at the point where things have gotten completely horrible and literally we're counting down the days until Jesus returns. So again, we're not at that yet, but we're seeing us move towards this with the beginning stages of these prophecies happening all over. Just like Isaiah 17, 1, Damascus is taken away from being a city, it'll be a ruinous heap. It's pretty much a ruinous heap right now. Not completely, but just about. And so we're just seeing the precursors of these prophecies begin to happen. Time is short, except Jesus Christ. The Bible says that we don't know the day or the hour that Jesus will return, so be on alert at all times because blessed is that servant who is found waiting and watching and living for his master when they comes, when he comes, when Jesus comes at an hour that we do not expect.